Hey YouTubers! Today we're going to look at a Hitachi uh, compound miter saw. This is a C8F uh, B2 and what we're going to be looking at is the linear bearing inside here. Uh, when you're cutting a lot of hardwoods, uh, the lignin, like we discussed in the table saw video, uh, the lignin tends to plug up these bearings. Uh, I'm going to pull this camera out and see if I can give you an overall shot of the saw. Now what I've done is I've taken the back piece off of here and I'll show you what that looks like. This is all it is right there. Linear bearings inside here. This is the bearing stop that keeps the bearing in place. Try not to make you all too dizzy with this. Still doing uh, videos uh, with my cobbled uh, cell phone. So, Alright, I've already cleaned this thing. Uh, just for sake of time and ease on the video, I'm going to show you the process. So you take the back piece off. There's a pin here, pin here. Uh, you take that off, you take the wipers off, etc. You remove this. And that exposes the linear bearing. And let me see if I can get some light in there. See those little ball bearings in there? Well, they go in a linear fashion. They go like this. There are six bearing channels in there, and they go in an oval. So they go like this. And all you need to do is clean that out really well. You can try removing that whole bearing sleeve. Um, there is a chance, uh, and all of them are different. Some have rings, some are rolled over so that the bearings can't spill out. But if you were to pop that clip off, pull out that plastic sleeve, you're going to have ball bearings all over the floor, and you're going to be real unhappy. So what you need is a plastic safe cleaner. So any kind of uh, electronics cleaner should work fine. You clean it out, move the bearings around. You also need a brush, the same bore diameter. And after you move it back and forth a few times, you want those bearings to move. You want, you want the cue to change, as it were. So you want the bearing that was here to move up to here. So you can brush that in and out a few times, move it forward. And you keep doing this, use the contact cleaner, and eventually everything will run clear. All the solvent will run clear. You'll be able to see the ball bearings move. I don't know if you can see that on the video or not. When I push the brush through, you can actually see it pull the bearings. So, once everything is clean, you can lube this up and uh, an NLGI Type 2 grease. Uh, would be uh, a good uh, alternative if you don't have uh, the manufacturer's recommended grease. But just remember, if you take that clip out, uh, you're in for a world of hurt. So grease this up, you put it all back together after cleaning the other components, and uh, that should take care of any problems that you're having with your linear bearing. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.